So uh, before I get on to the manga review here, I wanted to say that if you get the chance, you should definitely check out the Leighton Brothers Mystery Room video that I put up yesterday. It's a really, really good series, in my opinion, one of my best because I actually did my own voice acting for all the characters in it, and so it actually really, really worked out good. But uh, on the actual manga I wanted to review today, um, and I know people get on my case because I don't pronounce it manga and stuff like that. I just, I don't know, fuck it. That's how I'm used to pronouncing it, blah, blah. Anyways, um, the series is called Kamisama no Yutori, or in English, as it's being published, it's called As the Gods Will, which I don't really agree with that translation. It's kind of weird and awkward, but whatever. The series, though, if I had to best describe it, is like a combination of Saul and Battle Royale. And basically what happens in it is, is it starts off at a regular high school and stuff like that. And in a class, this teacher's head just explodes. And the artist for the series is really good at drawing these really, you know, like over-the-top gory scene stuff, you know. So it's really, again, like uh, very much a combination between Saul and Battle Royale in that sense. But the Battle Royale part comes in in that it's a bunch of high school students that get put in a situation where they have to do these traditional Japanese games. So unfortunately, if you don't really know anything about Japanese culture, some of these games are just going to like fly right over your head, and like the ways they figure out how to beat the games are going to fly right over your head. But it is explained pretty well in the dialogue, so even if you don't get it, it'll still be apparent eventually. But it's basically uh, these games they have to go through. And one by one, as they go through the games, you know, and stuff like that, uh, more and more of the students are killed off, you know, horribly gory deaths and stuff like that, etc. But a lot of the entertainment in the series doesn't come from the gory deaths, but it comes from the really inventive ways that the games are portrayed and the inventive ways that they have to do to get out of them, which is where the whole Saul thing comes in, the real Rube Goldberg-esque mechanics that they have to do to get out of these things and the overly complex games that the students have to find loopholes in to be able to survive. And as they finish uh, the first few games, then the storyline expands outwards and you see kind of like the whole grand scheme behind things and you find out more students are involved in it and stuff like that and this whole big storyline happens or whatever else. But after a certain number of chapters, the original series ends on a cliffhanger. And then we get to see Kamisama no Iutori 2, which is another group of high school students going through the exact same thing at the same time the first series is going on, but in a different way. And so eventually it's assumed that these two series are going to like culminate into the final series or some new series that's going to show what happens after both of them have went through their separate trials, but it's a really interesting series. It's being published in America right now, and I'm assuming in other uh, countries in English, underneath Crunchyroll. If you've been to that place, you know they have a bunch of like anime manga to watch, stuff like that. Um, it's a really, really good series. I highly recommend it. Uh, it's really big in Japan right now, but unfortunately almost nobody in America knows of it, and with that name being awkwardly translated like that, I don't know if many other people are actually going to check it out, because unfortunately people do based stuff off of first appearances, which is probably a bad thing that I have been up all night and I look like this because people are probably going to think I'm a hobo, which is great. But anyways, though, yeah, highly recommend you check it out. Definitely uh, one of my favorite series. And if you haven't seen the other manga review videos I've been doing, there's links to it in the info and you can go to the previous videos. And that is about it. So yeah. Oh, also, I'll likely be streaming some more Pokemon Y later today. Don't know when, but we're going to try and finish the game off, do the Elite Four and all that stuff. And uh, that's about it. So, yeah.